Besides for the NBA Finals or the NBA Draft, All-Star Weekend is one of the most anticipated and most watched NBA events each year. From young up-and-coming stars to older proven superstars, they'll all get to show off their skills under the brightest lights. But in 2007, the NBA would decide to experiment a little bit, hosting its first ever All-Star game in a city that did not have an NBA franchise, which turned out to be Las Vegas which would obviously attract more celebrities and more people from all walks of life because this NBA All-Star game in 2007 was so hyped up. And oh, did it live up to the hype with excitement starting with Celtics player Gerald Green putting on an absolute performance in the dunk contest, Heat wing Jason Capono winning the three-point contest with a score of 24, and how can you forget Charles Barkley and Dick Pavetta racing and kissing on live TV? And for the All-Star game itself, the West would win by 21 points and Kobe Bryant would take home another All-Star game MVP. Overall, it was a great weekend for the events, but unfortunately what made this weekend so controversial was Vegas being Vegas. With more celebrities and extra tourists around the town, the parties got absolutely crazy, which ended up leading to more than 400 people being arrested. But the worst of them all was local club bouncer Tommy Urbanski being paralyzed from the waist down. It was so bad that weekend that Rockets player Ray for Austin wouldn't even leave his hotel room unless if it was for one of the events. I know it's only a matter of time before an NBA franchise locates in Las Vegas, but that 2007 weekend definitely slowed up that process.